Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take Photoshop elements and get rid of unwanted people in our picture. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this image here. I have this C-130 and I really didn't want anyone in the picture. So I've got this person standing here. Now in order to make this work when you're taking pictures, you need to take pictures while the person is moving. That way they're standing in front of different areas and you can merge those photos and eliminate them from one of them. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of them that I've already finished here. Let me hit a command zero so that you can see. Let's go ahead and take a look at a photo that Photoshop Elements eliminated a person with and that is this image right here. Now it is a little bit skewed. Let me go ahead and close this out and show you the two originals. So we have one person, the same person standing in front of the one engine and then I have another picture in front of the front. As he was walking this way I snapped two shots from the same location. And when you do that you're able to go over here under the guided tour, go ahead and click guided tour and go down to scene cleaner. Now another way you can get to this is by going to the file and then going down to new and then photo merge scene cleaner. It'll get you to the same place. So let's go ahead and do that, photo merge scene cleaner. Now the dialog box that comes up, it says that you have, have to have between two and ten photos that have the same image and it's going to align them all so you can erase certain parts. So let's go ahead and align them both. Now this is the source photo. I'm just going to drag the other photo into the final photo right there. And what we're going to do on this final photo, they're now aligned, is I'm going to paint this area onto this photograph and what it's going to do is it's going to eliminate that person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pencil tool and I'm going to take and paint on this engine right here and then it's going to overlay that onto this image right there and now we no longer have that person on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and select done and it's going to create a new image for me. Now I want to show you what is wrong with this image right now. I'm going to go ahead and use my zoom tool right there to zoom in on this part of the wing. As you can see, it did a pretty good job of getting rid of him, and for the most part, I like the scene cleaner, but in this particular case, the wing did not line up. So I'm going to go back over here to the full edit, and I'm going to close this image out right there, and I'm going to show you how to do it manually. Okay, we have these two images. Let me go ahead and drag those off the tab line right there. We have these two images. One of them is him standing in front, and then the other image is over here. He's standing in front of that particular engine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image, and then I'm going to drag this image, the one that he's standing in front, and I'm going to drag that one on top. Now what we need to do is we need to align it. Now Photoshop aligns it when you're doing the guided but in this case we're doing it manually so I have to show you how to do that. I'm going to dial down the opacity right here. I'm going to dial it down to about 50 percent so I can see both images and then I'm going to go over to the move tool in the toolbox and I'm going to use the arrows and I'm going to nudge that particular image. I'm going to nudge it until the two planes line up. Now I'm looking at the windows and it's almost there. It's very very close right there. Now the problem is is that you see that this wing is a little bit taller on the one than the other. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to rotate it just a little bit. So we're going to use the shortcut command T, that's the transform, and I'm going to take the cursor and move it over to the corner and I'm going to drag this and rotate it just a tiny bit so that the wing is a little bit lower. And when I'm happy, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Enter key. And then it's going to get rid of the Transform tools. And then I'm going to use the arrows once again to line up the two airplanes. Let's do the opacity. Let's take that back up to 100. So holding down the Alt or the Option key, let's go ahead and let's hit the layer mask right there and as you can see he you can see him right here in front of the engine now what we want to do is we want to get rid of him so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint with white so go ahead and set your default palette to white and black right there 
and let's go ahead and let's pick a brush tool. If the brush tool is not there, it might be hiding underneath the pencil tool. So let's go ahead and hit the brush tool. Let's go ahead and see how big our brush is. That's a pretty decent sized brush right there. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller using my bracket keys. In other countries, you'll have to use whatever key it is in your country. Or you can go up to here and you can use the slider on the size. But I've got about the size that I want. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint white right here. And I'm just going to keep painting where he is. And then miraculously, he's going to disappear, kind of like a ghost. And then we also want to get rid of his cord that's right over there. And I'm just going to keep painting and painting until there is no more trace of him like that. And there we have it. We've gotten rid of distracting unwanted person. Now, I'm going to do just a little bit extra right over here. I'm going to do some quick edits and I'm going to clean up this uh, image over here with the dots and everything. So let's go ahead and let's merge this. So if I go down to layer merge down. I can merge those images and create a single image out of it. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to use the healing brush. I'm going to hit, let's make that a little bit bigger. I'm going to hold down the alt or option key and I'm going to select an area of the sky. And then I'm just going to paint that particular black spot away. There's a few black spots. I forgot to clean my lens or something right there. Somehow it got dirty. And there we go. Now the next thing we need to do is we do need to straighten this horizon out. It's horrific over there. So what we're going to do is we are going to use the straightening tool. Let's go ahead and click the straightening tool in the toolbox right there. And then over here we want to crop and then remove the background. So then I'm going to go over here and what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line on the horizon right like that. And there we go, it straightened it out and cropped it all for us. Now, what if we wanted to get rid of this area right in here? What we're going to have to do in that, since we're doing it manually, the little weed right there is we're going to have to clone this area. So let's go ahead and grab the clone tool right there. Let's go ahead and make our brush just a little bit bigger right over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to carry this line forward up over here. So let's go ahead and hit the option key right over there. And then click on that. And let's go ahead and it shows you what you're going to be getting rid of. So let's go ahead and get rid of that over there. I kind of messed that up just a little bit. Let me go ahead and do another option. Click on that. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And there we have it. I could go ahead and get rid of some of this too, this shadow. Alter option, click down there. And alter option again. And I could kind of get rid of that little bit of that shadow down there. And there we have it. We've gotten rid of the distracting person in there. We've cleaned up a little bit of the hairs or the dust that were that was sitting on there. And then we align the horizon there. This is Chucky from Digital Goulash. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like, favorite my videos, and pass the link on to your friends. Cheers!